Hello everyone, here's another video on what my expectations are for you for this week. As you can see, we are on a module or week 10, and we are doing an online week this week, so we will not meet for um, class in person today or um, on Monday. Um, please don't forget that I'm giving you until midnight of the 7th to resubmit any assignments that you'd like to um, get a higher grade on or to demonstrate that you have the knowledge or skills for that week. Um, I do take 10% off for all resubmissions, but that's still um, a higher grade. So, uh, And I really want to make sure that I'm giving you the opportunity to be as successful as possible in this class. So this week, um, I am having you do Activity 8, and last week I had asked you to read Chapter 10 in the Overton book and also complete um, or read the PSYOP chapter on Review and Assessment, um, and I uploaded uh, Chapter 9 um, so that you would be able to do that. Um, so hopefully you've got all of that read, and if you've forgotten where, you can find the PSYOP reading. It's right here, PSYOP chapter on Assessment. Uh, the importance of this chapter is that it goes over how to support English language learners and um, also students who may struggle with various learning needs in your classroom. So these are all really wonderful um, tier one interventions that um, you can do um, response for it to intervention, tier one interventions. Um, so for the assignments for this class, um, the, I put together Activity 8 assignments. So you can see here's Activity 8. As always, save it with your name. So when I'm grading, I can see who it is. Um, I have two questions from the Overton Chapter 10. And then I have um, seven questions from the PSYOP chapter. And it just kind of, both of these are just to kind of go through the chapter and pull out the important information that you might need to, um, in, to be a successful classroom teacher. So, And then the last one is uh, the feedback, of course. And this week, I'm asking you for feedback on the task analysis that I did for your assessment report. So my, I did my best to really chunk up your assessment report into different sections and then give you feedback throughout the semester so that you knew what to expect rather than just giving you, hey, this is um, you know, the report, these are all the sections, and then you don't get feedback until you've already turned it in as a final at the end of the semester. So um, I just want to know from you um, uh, how you felt about the explanations of expectations for each section, the way that I divided the assessment report, the weekly expectations, and the feedback that you were given. Was it helpful? Could I do a better job there? And is there anything else that you can let me know um, as far as ways that I could improve this task. All right, so the last thing is, so next week uh, we are going to be meeting in class in person. And um, as you know, for Activity 7, I had already asked you to tell me how you would peer edit. And um, so that was, uh, we'll be doing that on the 14th. We'll all be bringing in our assessment reports. You need to have them printed out. So print out your full assessment report. And also come with your checklist for how you're going to edit and give feedback to your peers so you don't forget anything. And then also um, we're going to do individual meetings. So as you guys are working on giving each other edits in um, two groups, so there'll be five people in each group, um, I'm going to also pull you individually to just kind of go over all of the assignments and um, you know, answer any questions or concerns that you might have um, about this course or assessment in general or um, uh, just, uh, you know, how to write, that type of thing, or how to support parents. So come with your questions um, so that we can make the most of the time we have together. Uh, I did put together a template. So what you can do is now that uh, each week I've given you um, the opportunity and the feedback on all these sections, what I did was I just, using Times New Roman 12-point font, I put together a um, template for you to kind of cut and paste all your information into. So you can see it's got the name, that's the student's name, uh, date of birth, languages, CELT scores, if applicable, um, disabilities, um, but if you, they only have one disability, you can change that to just say disability. The dates of evaluation, the age, the grade, the examiner, that's you. The instruments used in the assessment, um, and that would be the list that we did last week where you just do, you know, you can be bullet points and then one sentence about each one of the assessments. So if you did the Woodcock-Johnson, talk about the 20 subtests, talk about what it's um, assessing, 
and um, that it's a norm reference test, for example. Um, then I want to know their health records, so that's their vision and their hearing, and anything else um, if you know any other health concerns that they have. So a lot of times students with who might have uh, Down syndrome, they might have other health concerns um, that you would want to include in that section. Um, a student with uh, severe emotional disturbance may be um, uh, clinically depressed, so you might even want to put that there, although you also want to be sensitive to that student. The next is the student background. So this is the educational history, the family interview. Now notice I put in here include students' strengths, so you should have found out at least one good thing from the family um, or the um, person who's in charge of educational rights if they don't live with their family. Um, the educator in interview, hopefully you found out some strengths as well. I will be looking for those when I'm grading. And the student interview, um, so you, uh, please indicate what the student believes as strengths and interests. And then of course the classroom observation, um, I want you to include strengths there as well. Oh, sorry about the phone ringing in the background. And um, we will just keep recording through that. So. <laughs> Um, next is the results section, and we have, uh, oh, there we go, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we have the test that I we've administered, so the Woodcock-Johnson, the Wyatt, the RAT, and the Brigantz, and you only need to include the results if you administered the test. So just erase the other ones if you didn't, and this is the part where I'm looking for the uh, um, for the charts that we've made, uh, for the work samples, I want to see an explanation of what the work is, um, so the directions and the rationale, and also um, a picture of the work sample. Um, then you're going to have your section about the strengths, then the areas of growth, the suggested IEP goals, the progress monitoring, the collaboration, and finally the reflection on the assessment process. So this is what went right, what went wrong, what would you do differently next time, who should you work with closer next time, where can you go for support in the future, and any other thoughts you have about your this assessment process. Remember, this report is really to show that we're not just giving a one-stop shop uh, or one-stop um, look at the um, student's performance um, on one test and making any sort of um, uh, assumptions about who they are as a student or what their needs are. Instead, we're going through and we're holistically looking at how we can support that student's growth academically, uh, behaviorally, emotionally. Um, so make sure that you include all of that. Um, and use the template. You can also see that I have lots of noises here. Uh, I also have numbered the pages, so you'll, um, that's another thing that's just a tiny um, formatting thing that can be really helpful um, as far as finding and locating and keeping things organized. Um, as always, call me, text me, email if you have any questions. Um, I really am here to support you in being as successful as you can with your educational assessments in your classroom and as special educators. Um, as you can see, here is activity eight. Click on that. There's the template for the assessment report. Click on that. And good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.